What is going on YouTube? Today I have an epic 100 subs special and I am going to teach you all that Magikarp is power. <laughs> well, please note, for the following video obviously uses hacks. I would never use hacks in a normal battle. This battle is planned for entertainment as a 100 sub special. And thanks for 100 subs, by the way. And although I poke a little fun at the Christian religion with the use of Jesus and God as names for Magikarp, I mean no offense to anyone. I'm in fact Christian and I still find this funny. So you should too. So yeah, now let's jump into the battle. So I brought an entire team of Magikarp, and he brings an entire team of Ubers, which is fine. I, that's what I requested. So I'm going to start with my lol what, because he's like, lol what, what's going on? And I go for a bounce, predicting a high jump kick, and he does go for the high jump kick and loses half his health. He goes for a protect, and that blocks my bounce, unfortunately. So this turn, he's going to go for a flare blitz, and... He doesn't even bring me down to my focus sash, so I'm going to go for a bounce this turn, because why not? This is only a trolling for the lulls battle, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. So he's going to go for a protect again, and that's fine, because that's whatever. And he's going to get a bunch of speed boosts, so he's going to go for a swords dance now, as I'm going to go for a flail, because I'm at low HP. And I almost take the Blaziken out. Look how much damage that Magikarp did to a Blaziken. So he went for the high jump kick. Thankfully he didn't miss because I'm sure he wouldn't have wanted to. He would have lost to a Magikarp. So I'm going to send him my Feebas. And he's going to go for a protect. But predicting that, I went for a splash. So that was a perfect prediction on my part. And uh, he's going to go for a swords dance, which is fine, I guess. I'm just going to go for another splash because why not? I'm not, not like I want to get any damage on this thing anyways. He ends up switching out because he knows that I could kill him in one hit. And I decide to go for a bounce as he sends in Rayquaza. And I end up hitting the Rayquaza with a bounce, which did a nice chunk of damage. And now he goes for Dragon Pulse, and that knocks me down to my Sash. So I'm going to go for a Splash this turn, because why not? As he goes for a Hyper Beam. And now I'm going to send it in what? The Magikarp. I'm just going to go for a Tackle, because you know what? Tackling things is fun. So he's going to go for an Extreme Speed, and that's going to knock me down to my Sash again. And I'm going to go for a Tackle. And he's down to red, so all these Magikarp have brought two of his Pokemon down to red. That's kind of funny. So I'm going to go into Jesus now, because he's like, yo, I'm Jesus. So now I'm going to go for a Splash, because you know Jesus doesn't like attacking. He's very passive. So he's just going to splash around, and he goes sets up the rocks to break my sash for the next Pokemon. And then he goes for a taunt in his, his Deoxys speed, and now I can't splash. So Jesus is forced to tackle, and he does, and gets a lot of damage off on Deoxys speed. Now he's going to go for the Ice Beam and kill Jesus, and um, that's too bad. So I'm going to go into Rise, Rise. So I launch the Revive towards Jesus, and he raises from the dead. So he gets a crit on the Shadow Ball, and obviously that'll take out my Rise. So I'm going to send in Jesus again, because he gets a second chance, and he's resurrected. So he dies again as he goes for another move, and God is angry, so he's going to get him. 